Hey guys, Cal Torak here. For those that don't know, I've been stuck in jail for the last few weeks. I finally got my Blade of Eternal Darkness though. While this was far lower than my classic kill count, it took me 326 kills to get this bad boy in sod. It was quite an amazing week and I wanted to thank everyone who tuned in live for my streams. My Twitch grew far bigger than I had ever hoped. A big thank you to Joker and Frostodamus for raiding my stream during my struggles. Again, thank you to all the fans who cheered me on during my grind. Here is a short little montage of the day I got Blade of Eternal Darkness, and what I finally did when I got it. Like, subscribe, and check out my streams. See ya! Okay, we didn't swap specs. Let's focus. We're going for sub-minute kills, boys. Sub-minute kills. This is my first time trying for speed kills. I got a minute 12 earlier. And that was without all the best buffs. So now I'm trying... Without the best spec. So I'm trying a better spec now. And I've got better buffs now. Alright, let's get our buffs out. Yep, I'll unboot for sure. I'm just doing it for fun. You know, at this point it's just to entertain myself, Greg. The waste of money is just here to... For my own sanity. I didn't know if that would reach. Oh, this would be embarrassing to lose all these buffs just like this. I don't have blink for three seconds. Oh! Oh no! We're fine! We're fine! We're fine! Everything's okay! Everything's okay, Mom! Holy sheep! I mean, holy shit. The greed scorch. The greed scorch, dude. The greed scorch. Oh, nope. The dagger didn't drop. I almost dropped. That was still a two minute, two second kill, but fuck. Man. I went for three scorches. One of them resisted, though. Of course the curse, look. I went for three and one resisted. We're at an awkward angle here. We're definitely eating this boulder, unfortunately. We're still on good pace for a good kill time, but I definitely want to come back with faps. Yeah, she's standing still. I'm not getting crits, though. Come on, cast, cast, cast. Fuck, I let that cancel the Scorch because I got scared of a fucking turtle. I should have casted it. She would be dead right now if I casted that Scorch. Fuck, she would have been dead right there. A minute five. Fuck! That, I don't know if that could have been one less than a minute, but I lost like three seconds there, I feel. Ah, that was so close to a sub-minute kill. Ah. Minute five. A minute 5.8. I'm gonna round down, though. I'm gonna cheat and round down. We're calling that at a minute five. Oh, yes! We're free! We're free! We're done! We're done! Hey guys, Cal. Yes! Yes! Hey guys, Cal I know I just like destroyed my voice screaming, but holy fuck. 
Ah! Uh, hey guys. I'm free! I'm free! Ah! Uh, Cal Torak here. Thanks for the prime sub, man. I got it. We are free! All right. No buffs, just talents. And dagger. Need to get those two. Good. <clears throat> I've been doing this on my hunter, so I gotta make sure I'm not fucking up the man. Uh, uh. The jump. I definitely just refreshed a couple that I shouldn't have, so that's definitely not ideal. Oh my god, look at all the mana! Look at all the mana! I haven't even jaded yet! Look at all the mana! Unlimited power! They're not even going fast yet! They're not even moving fast yet! Oh. Hey, thanks, man. We are finally free. Alright, so we got explosions about to come off. So in one second, jump, turn, look. I don't think I got that one. I don't think I got that one. I got that one. I can definitely clean this kill phase up. We've almost got it perfect, though. I can definitely be cleaned up with a couple better living bomb timings. And, um... I don't think I used a second living flame there for a very long time. I think we might be dead? I'm not sure, though. But I can definitely clean this the fuck up. Maybe we're fine? I'm gonna have to evocate. Okay. We're fine, but we can we have to evocate. Okay. Let's just get, try and get them slowed. It's only elites, by the way, that get the slow immunity. For, so for this pool, you can always slow the non-elites. Always slow the non-elites. So how long was that? So even with how scuffed that was, that was 3 minutes for 45, 46 mobs. That's still pretty damn good. We can get that down to like two and a half minutes for that pull. So two and a half minutes for 50-ish mobs. You can lip in ice block. No, I'm spamming lip because hey I'm coming guys, out. Kaltor but right what you should do... What you? Oh my god, another Joker raid? Jesus, bro. 
We're free, Joker. We're free today. We're free today, Joker. Oh, I do have Noggin Fogger School, so if I can get good Noggin Fogger timings. Oh, so we have to go into the water here because of this patrol. If you get here fast enough, this patrol won't be there, but because of how long it took us to get here, we have to go into the water to reset now. <clears throat> Alright, now we're reset. I think we got an invis pot to get past this one basilisk here. I forget, though. I don't know if those are going to social. I'm assuming no, but we're going to find out this full. This is a science test. Nope, they did not social with the pat. Okay, so I have to pull the pat and the worms. I don't know if the patrol will pull the worms, though. So I might only have to pull the patrol there, and it would pull the worms. So I'll have to test that next time. Then we got this bad boy. We're going to Nova him. You just imagine a oh, cheese, a slug. <laughs> no. Um, while jumping will bug out mobs. You see how they'll stop sometimes like they're about like they're baiting out um, So that's why I do the wall jumping. It just creates you extra distance Which we need I Like I there there's probably a place we can blink blink reliably here I'm um, probably pretty early like as soon as it comes up you can probably blink here uh, but I like to, again you have to save blink for um, Skipping this boss because if you, it, you, you, I don't like aggroing the boss yet. There might be a way, if we can do the boss with the kill pull, by the way, the boss drops a item that can DE to a large brilliant. So if we can work that boss into our kill pulls, we also have a large brilliant farm with this pull, which makes it even better, obviously. Um, but right now, if the boss gets too close to your kill spot, so if you let the boss get to the rock, um... He'll just shoot you with his gun. There's no LOSing him. There's no getting away. Don't get dazed. 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 And yeah, I'll eventually, um... I'll eventually have a link of the... I'll, I'll, I'll upload a YouTube video of me getting the dagger and then playing with it for the first day or something. Alright, this is where we do a little bit of a displacement trick to create some distance. Normally you would slow fall here. Again, don't fuck up. You want to go back up. And you also want to make sure you have enough mana for displacement too because it does cost mana. I've jumped down and not have enough mana to blink back up. So that's killed me before. Um, problem is those patrols are way up there. So we have to juggle annoyingly until we get the patrol stacked. I don't even know if you need to go that wide to get up here. but um, So we're just going to juggle right here for now until the patrol gets closer to the rest of the stuff. Because we don't want the groups to be too sp spread out from the patrol. So right now we're just uh, juggling for the patrol stack. Which is right behind us, it looks like. So now we can get the patrol. Only the dagger off of Princess DE's the large brilliance. Okay. Uh, we need to get an evocate off, so... We're just gonna evocate. You don't want to be up top too long, because you'll die to mobs from below. So, swap the mage armor. Oh yeah, I've made plenty of gold doing this farm. Um, okay, so we're going to do our first um, displacement trick to get a little bit of extra stacking going on. That just gets the mobs a little bit extra clump for us. Yeah, I made like 3,000 gold probably over the last... 326 mark pulls for sure made gold wasn't worth it it wasn't a good gold per hour but at least i made gold while doing the farm all right so we're waiting for our next displacement we're going to do that jump one more time 
And then we're going to try and do the ice block stack again. All right. We need the big guy to go further down, and then we'll do the blank. Okay, let's go. Normally, we again to be slow falling here and not eating this fall damage. This place. If you can get him to cast, and then you wait for mobs to run up while he's casting, it'll, like, get him closer stacked to the others. So that's what I'm waiting for right now. Wait, see, see, how, see how he's standing there casting his boulder? And now that lets the mobs get closer to him. So now we're going to go for the ice block trick that I suck at. So let's see if I can do it this time. All right, we're going for the ice block. I should have. Why did I go so far from the rock? I don't know why. Got the cold snap ice block off. Can we get the lip off? We were able to get the display. Am I gonna die for fall damage? Oh my god, I died for. Oh shit, I did die for fall damage. Heal. Displace back. Get inside, get inside, get inside. Ha! Oh, we did it! We did it! Now let's check to see if we can get the kill phase now. Alright. Now we just start spamming living bombs and living flame, right? So let's see if we can do this. If I can target the mobs properly, it's kind of hard to get the alt tab in right. The tabbing, right? I gotta figure out a good way to tab. The camera angles are definitely fucking me up for sure. And now this guy's getting too far ahead. So I definitely want to get him to cast his boulder and then do the standstill shit. Like this. Okay. There we go. I gotta find a better way to tab the, to target mobs for living bomb for sure. This is kind of hard to do that part, but... I just, I keep accidentally refreshing living bombs on certain targets, too. Hmm. Maybe I need to find, like, um, mobs, like, I have to, like, a macro to target a specific mob type and just weave between different mob types to consistently get living bombs on different mob types because it's really hard for me to, because, like, tab is not getting the targets because of the crystals. Um, and when I'm clicking for targets, I'm clicking the same one multiple times, so I gotta find a better way to- Oh, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. If maybe if I let them get close like that, I gotta let them get closer, and it's easier to target mobs. I can't read chat, so people are giving me advice right now. I will read it after, um... I'm done with the pool. Right now, I am super tunnel visioned on not fucking this up. I'm obviously not getting maximum living bombs out per second. Like, obviously, if I was like, tab living bomb, tab living bomb, tab living bomb, um, I'd be burning through mana a lot more, right? But, um, like, I'm not even, like, getting low on mana right now, so there's that at least. Um, this guy is starting to become a pain in the ass, though. We need to get the other mobs stat closer. Um, it's possible we'd have to do, like, another um, ice block at some point or a lit play, but um, he's being a little pain in the butt, this um, boulder dude. I need him to get um, restacked. So we're waiting for him to boulder, and then we can step down while he's casting. And then the mobs will restack with him. Like this. So see, they're, now the mobs are stacking with him finally. So now we got him to where we can hit other ones.
There's got to be a way to clean up my targeting of these mobs, though. I'm definitely, um... And, like, it would be so much easier if we had Blizzard, right? Like, if we had Blizzard that we could use here. But Blizzard, you can't, like, Blizzard Entertainment, you can't stop mages. Wait, what's happening? Why are they getting so close? You can't stop us. You can put as many roadblocks in front of us as you can, but I'm too autistic for you. You're not going to be able to stop us forever. So just remove the roadblocks and let me have my fun. Get rid of the slow immunity. Get rid of the slow immunity. Just let me fucking do my stupid shit. Let me fucking do my 500 mob pulls because you're not stopping me. I can do my pulls. All you're doing is making the game harder for normal people. We need to get this fucker restacked. He's being a real pickle. The, the giants are a pain in the ass for sure. Oh boy. Yeah, these guys are being real dicks with how they're being. Um, they're getting way too stacked away from the others, so... If we can kill them, I guess that would help a lot. I can frost fire bolt it a minute, maybe? That'll help me kill it faster. Maybe I like I do a force ice block reset here. But we haven't been stacked for a while, and I'm afraid I'm gonna die to mobs beneath us soon. I'm afraid mobs are gonna kill me from below. I don't know where the other mobs are right now, so. Um, we can at least kill this guy with Frost Firebolt. This is why we keep Frost Firebolt, by the way, is for those guys. Alright, they weren't too far beneath me, ahead of me, I guess. Obviously, Displacement Regroup, yeah, there's, there's definitely some Displacement Tech I can do there, for sure. There's definitely some Displacement Tech I can do there, for sure. Non-elites can still be slowed, by the way. It's only elites that gain the immunity. So if you have, like, non-elites like that unclumped, you can easily, um, just blizzard. So, like, if they're being a pain like that and, like, they're away from the elites, you can just... Get them restacked like that. Obviously, this can be cleaned the fuck up, though. But the pull is being done. There's a lot we can do. Displacement regroups. Yeah, I'll, re I'll read chat in a little bit, guys. Um, I was not able to read a word that was said recently. Um, look how fast this fucker's zooming. He has taken no damage. Yep, so. Um, I got. There's definitely plays that can be done to restack mobs more. This can be way, way more efficient. Yep, I got blade. I got blade. Sorry, guys, I'm not reading chat. I'm just trying to get the mobs as restacked as I can. That guy's got to die. He's the highest self mob, so he's going to be eating all our living flames. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't die now. Oh, don't die now after all hard work you've done. I know there's things I can do to restack them right now, but I'm just playing this safe to make sure I just kill all the mobs at this point. At this point, I just want to make sure I get the full clear. I don't want to try. I don't want to die and then lose all this loot because I have to run back and all of it despawns. Uh, so I'm just gonna kill it normally, and then we'll we'll try these. We'll try restacking techniques on future kills. But this is um. This is just like kind of an on-stream proof of concept of the reset. I don't know how many mobs we have left. There's a lot that can be done to clean this up, though. This was cool. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun to master. I hope it's. I hope it ends up being a worthwhile farm because it feels like it's got potential. 
I think this is the last mob. I'm not sure if there's just some guy that's super far away still being juggled or not. I think this might be the last mob. Are we out of combat? That's it, boys. How many mobs? 157 mobs. 22 minutes. 22 minutes for 157 mobs. I can easily clean that up, obviously. There's a lot that can be done to clean that up, but... Hey! That's not bad, right? We got something here. We might be able to turn this into something good for mages. Selling boost or something.